Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict. We are in an alien decimation. Getting into the bottom half of August. Alien decimation. No one to tell you what my strategy is for this event. I am using no coins, although I did use coins to uh, take care of my level 8 went from level 7 to level 8 in my workshop and now I'm going from level 8 to level 9 I'm using no coins for this event because I'm gonna take care of the last two days of this five day uh, upgrade so that I can have a level 9 workshop that's where all the fun begins and then I can start doing mark upgrades for my punishers and there are other fun things you can do with uh, all of those really funky looking unknown objects that I've been collecting. Where I've got 26,000 of them. Alright, so that's a little bit about my base. Let's go back to my strategy. So my strategy is very simple this time. I have two fleets I can use. A level 79, which was just Axis, but now has a Punisher to even it out. Yes. And a level 73, which is all Punishers and a Dominion carrier. So what I do is, I begin with the level 79, I hit level 40 Reapers for the entire Phase 1. Uh, keep in mind Decimation is broken up into Phases. Phase 1 is Reapers. Phase 2 is barrage hives and the next phase is a nine minute ten minute uh, rest phase where you can do the level 100 barrage hives I don't care about that and then it resets so the entire cycle until you get back to phase one is um, between an hour and 15 and an hour and 30, sometimes an hour and 45 minutes, it depends. So, I use my level 79 fleet on level 40 Reapers for the entire part of phase one, start to finish. No repairs. And then when phase one concludes and there are no more level 40 Reapers to hit, I will take that fleet back to base and do a repair. With, there's no coins, I just start the repair. And let it repair. And then I wait until phase one comes around again. So I don't do anything about the brush hives, I didn't do anything about the boss fight, and uh, it'll reset. And then I do the same thing during phase one with my level 73 Xeno fleet. And by the time I get uh, all the way through and can start phase one again, my level 79 fleet is probably going to be completely repaired. And I spent no coins. It's just resources. So that turns that into a two cycle engine. 79 phase one, start the repair. Wait for phase one again. 73 fleet phase one and then park it wait for my level 79 fleet to repair and then I take my level 79 fleet out again during a phase one and hit level 40 reapers and start the repair of my level 73 and over and over and over now I don't get a ton of points for these decimation events even when I'm spending coins because the other strategy I was using when I'm spending coins is I'll hit a, hit a level 40, go back for a repair, pay one or two coins, and then again and again and again. So it's going to be the same number of points this way as I was doing when I was paying coins. Same number of points. It's just that this time I'm not spending any money. And I'm going to save up my 951 coins plus whatever I get out of my 
uh, commerce module. Base. Since my commerce module is upgrade a level, uh, currently got a level eight commerce module, so I get 17 coins a day for free anyway. So in the next three days, I'll have another 17 times 3, almost, well, that's like, what, 57 coins on top of the 951. And then I'll finish off this upgrade to a level 9 workshop, and that should be max level for that. And uh, then I can start doing some fun things with my workshop. Keep in mind that Ship Factory is max. Tech Lab is max. Ship Lab is max. The only two that are not maxed out after my workshop gets maxed out will be the bridge is not maxed out. Upgrade. It could still be upgraded again. And my fleet bay has one more level and then it will be maxed. So that's my strategy. I'll probably have 800,000 points, maybe a million points for this whole four day event. Could possibly go a million five. And the only thing I really want, since I've got everything else, what I really want is this uh, harmonic fuel generator. It's a, it is a tier two. I currently have tier one and it's a blueprint. And then I'll get uh, the Tungsten Armor 2, because that's Tier 2. That's really all I'm playing for. I might alternatively go for the Xeno Shatter Driver 2. Can't really use it yet. I've got the Xeno Shatter Driver 1, so I really don't need the 2. In fact, I really don't need anything from this event at all. That's why I'm not paying coins not going balls to the wall because really don't need to. I've got everything I can use until I get like to Mark 3 for the Guardian or until I get to like Mark 3 of an Exterminator or like Mark 3 of an Annihilator. And I'm just uh, doing this to refine my strategy and I'm going to build up my fleets. Now if I had a third Xeno fleet or a third Axis fleet or just a third fleet that I could use at like 73 or 79 then I could uh, you know make sir. my Report. cycle trick Copy, sir. work even more efficiently because and there may be an occasion here or there when I may have to take a break for 30 minutes but hey that, that's what Netflix is for I'm not working right now that's what Netflix is for and I watch Babylon security. 5 while I'm waiting for a repair to finish but uh, typically I get an hour and 15 minutes worth of repair time by the time the phase one killing Reapers is done this kind of thing won't work for an alien mobilization because there there are no rest periods and I can kill Reapers nonstop all day every day for four days so I'll have to use a different strategy for that and, and you know for the alien mobilization I would uh, use a fleet till it gets around 95 percent put it in for repair use the next fleet until it gets 95 percent put it in for repair I would really need four fleets to make that work or five But, you know, in all fairness, I'll probably end up using coins for the mobilization. And I would end up using coins for the uh, conquest, whatever the Axis event is each month. But hey, you know, it's entertainment. And I've already made a video, so what I'm thinking is about that. It's just entertainment. And it's cheaper than going to movies. So that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. That's what my base is doing. And uh, that's it. Have fun.
Oh, be sure to stop on that uh, subscribe button and hit that like button left and right if you like what you're seeing here. And I can always use the support via Patreon. I know I've only got 71 subscribers, but it's been growing lately and I would like to grow the channel. So I hope you like what you see, and we'll catch you next time. Fly safe and kill aliens. <laughs>